Daisy, she's a 25 year old umbrella cockatoo. I look like crap, but I just wanted to show her. Do you want to start making videos with mommy? I'm going to start making videos with her, um, but I'm going to get a new camera because this one's like a piece of crap and my other one's too big and I sold it because I wanted like a vlogging camera so I can post videos of like what we do on the daily and my daily like routine um so yeah and how I take care of my birds I just rescue her well she was being rehomed and I was looking for like a kayak actually before her but I decided I really like someone contacted me about her and I just I don't know I kind of fell in love with her so I went to go look at her and fell in love with her and took her home that day and I've had her for like five days now so yeah I'm basically doing like a trial but I already like paid for her and set up her cage hi Kalia my daughter's over there um so I set up her cage and everything and it she has like a nighttime cage in my room and then she has her other cage up or downstairs which is her huge one um, so I put her in that one when we leave. We actually just got that today. So I wanted to have a bigger cage to put her in when she leaves. Or when we leave, she can, like, you know. Does she scare you? So, yeah. She has two cages. And then I just got a stand in the mail today that I'm going to set up in a second. So. Because the cage is too tall. And when I put her up there, I feel like she's more, like, less likely to, like, come down to, like, be picked up and stuff. Like, she'll eat pet her and stuff. But she would just be more... A like cage territorial so to break that habit I'm going to use a stand because it's more easier level for me to be able to do it uh-uh stop it no Daisy she's getting mad at my daughter right now that's why I'm having a trial with her just in case um because she does get cranky no you'd be nice um but I'm in the process of getting her on like a schedule and just seeing basically how she's going to do with the family and if not, she can go back to her regular owners. But I think it's better than buying a new bird and putting it on the market if it doesn't work out. Or if I were to buy her and then she didn't work out and have to give her away or sell her or whatever. Which I just don't want to do. My room's a mess right now, so just ignore it. So I just don't want to do that. And, um, yeah, so we're going to see how it goes. I can't see. This is so weird. I hate this thing. Okay, whatever. Anyways, so I'm going to be getting a new camera because I don't think I really, like, want this camera. My room is so messy right now. Oh my God. But, yeah. So I want to do, like, what it's like to own a cockatoo and, like, if you get one, what do you do? Like, what schedule do you have? Like, what do you feed them? If they like seeds, like, what she does, I'm trying to wean her off of them and get her on pellets and vegetables and fruits and stuff. She plucked before I got her. Oh, sorry. She plucked before I got her, and you just did pluck, didn't you? No plucking. No plucking. That's Owie. Uh, That's Owie. Don't pluck your feathers out. So she started to do that when she didn't get enough attention, but I haven't even had her in the cage all day except for when I took a nap. And, well, I didn't take a nap. My baby took a nap. And um, she takes naps during the day, too, and she does really, really good. She's really quiet. She'll chew her towel a little bit, but nothing really bad. She comes real, pretty much everywhere with me. Like, if I go to the bathroom, I go by myself or whatever. But, um, like, when I go downstairs to cook breakfast, she's there. She has her favorite spot on the counter. Um, and I'm just trying to get her used to it and trying to offer her different foods so that she has a better balanced variety diet. And I'm going to start putting her treats in, like, stuff like this so that she can forage and stuff. Um, I have more stuff downstairs and I have to bring her toys down because her cage just got here today but it will be the big one I leave her in if I have to leave the house but I don't really go anywhere that much so I kind of have a great lifestyle for her but she can have a lot of attention and love and everybody in my family really loves her um so 
she gets attention from not just me, but everybody, and she's really good with everybody. She's a little bit nervous around my daughter, um, but we'll see. I'm just going to give her a really good, long, hard chance because she has been such a good bird, and she's just kind of one, one in a million, I guess, and every bird has a different personality, and, you know, they have different quirks and stuff, and honestly, I didn't even want a cockatoo because the funny thing is, is my dream bird growing up was a cockatoo I really wanted a Moroccan um or salmon breasted or salmon crest something whatever cockatoo the ones with the really pretty like pink underneath their the top of their head but anyways I wanted one so bad or an umbrella because I just had always like seen them and whenever I'd see them I wanted to like ask questions and hold the bird and get to know them so I had seen one several times several occasions and I had interacted with them and I just thought that my big personality oh I just want to yell all the time and be happy and cuddles I knew that this was what I wanted when I was younger but then when I got older um I actually really wanted a kayak or a macaw um and I know that's weird but like like a weird mix but macaw is my dream like I want one so bad ever since I was like 20 I've wanted one and I've had birds my whole life I've hand fed I've rescued and all that kind of stuff so I've lost a couple of, of birds as well um one flew away and then like I, that was my first one when I was 10 and then uh two of my conyers died and it was just really really sad and hard and um I just really love birds and I think that they're just amazing animals and they are not for everybody because they're really loud and they require a ton of attention and a lot of a cl uh, cleaning like everything just giving them love being home with them playing with them interacting with them talking to them <laughs> giving them what they want you want to step up you want to step up no 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 what's that noise why is it echoing that's so weird anyways so yeah I want to do another video. This is just kind of a short intro video. This is Daisy. She's 25. She's an umbrella cockatoo. She's actually kind of small. She plucked because she was left home too much. Um, so yeah, this is only her nighttime cage. She does not like go in this, like only her nighttime cage because she really likes to sleep right here. And the fact that it's a little bit smaller and compact makes it better for her. Um, she has a stand downstairs and she has a big cage downstairs. So I'll show that as well just so nobody's like oh my god she just keeps her in this tiny little cage no I actually keep her in a huge cage and I have a stand for her that I have to build today um and I have her toys and everything like these are toys I actually got for a kai because I was planning to get one but like I said when I heard about her and I met her like I kind of just fell in love with her and I wanted to give a bird a good home I didn't want to have to buy a new bird and then cause problems because then they're just more sold and everything not that I wouldn't buy a bird, but I think rescuing is obviously better than adopting. Um, and she had a really good home, but they just, they gave her a lot of sweets and um, they spoiled her a lot. Where are you? What are you doing? You can't even see her on this. this is so weird. Okay, anyways. So I'm going to end this video now. Um, when I go on vacation and stuff, that she'll be able to go to their house because they're only 50 minutes from me and at least she'll be like somewhere where she knows. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting vlog videos and makeup videos and different stuff. I have a lot of stuff to review, a lot of makeup, and I have some makeup in my giveaway as well. Um, if I ever get around to it, I need, need to get a new camera. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will be back shortly. If you guys have any video requests, just let me know. I'm going to start doing weekly in, like, a few weeks or so. Once I get my brand new camera, I'm going to start doing it as soon as possible like vlogs and daily videos and like reviews on stuff like this you can't even see it because this camera is so bad but rose gold um my favorite lipstick right now matte i love that kylie jenner malibu so whatever um it's a mess in here i'll do it when it's like clean and whatever so mom life mom parent life of parrots i have two we have one downstairs right now so yeah I will be doing videos about that. I'm also growing stuff because I was actually going to s try to get the birds to eat herbs because they're so good for them. Um, but I don't know if that's going to work out for my birds because they're just both really bad about eating anything and I've been trying really hard. So we'll just see. 
I'm going to end now. Thank you for watching, and let me know what you guys want to see. And I'm so excited to get a new camera because this seriously sucks. Bye, guys. Subscribe, like, whatever. Tell me what you want to see. Thanks. Bye.